Hello everyone. This is a video to show you how to create some 3D text in IronCAD. I'll show you a couple things as we're doing this. So first, uh, one way to do this is to use the sketch command uh, to create a really a solid 3D text. So you can start with a 2D sketch and you can use any type of commands that we have here to place it. So for example, I want to place it on the center point here. I can place it there and say OK. And uh, in our case, we want to create some text. And if you notice up on our drawing, there's a text tool for our sketch. And you can basically click that command and it allows you to type anything in here. So we're going to go ahead and type in IronCAD. And you can change fonts. Uh, the, you can use the font size or use the, an override to type in an exact height for it if you want. Uh, let's just say we'll make that 0.5 inside of there. And then you can specify where it's placed. In our case, let's just put it in the center. And we're going to position it right here on the center point of our sketch. And you can see this place, and there's a rotation here that you can see that's graphically, or you can type in if you wanted to rotate that around. You can uh, click to rotate, but in my case, I'm just going to leave it where it's oriented and hit OK. And that'll place our 2D sketch text right there. So if we hit Finish, we now have a sketch element out here with, uh, with uh, the word Iron Cat. So you can do a couple things. Uh, since you have a sketch, you can do anything you want with it. For example, if we want to do an extrude, we can just uh, select that, create a new uh, part. Or to use that sketch, specify how far we want that to extrude, and now we have uh, 3D extruded text here. That's a solid text. Now this is real solid text inside of here. If you want to just graphical text, you can always go up to our, uh, I believe it's our annotation, and create the 3D text tool here. This is just a graphical text element. Uh, it gives you a little bit more controls out here. You can you know change the height, size, values. You can do flat, beveled, rounded, you know, kind of some inverted little enhancements here. And this is just a different way of positioning it inside of here as well. And that just creates a, a text element as well out here. But this is a facet text, if you will, meaning that once I click out of this, it'll create that text. And it's using a size box to really control that size of that and the uh, spacing of it. So it's not really solid geometry. You can't uh, do anything with this. You could send that, that facet to like a 3D printer if you wanted to. Uh, but for a solid modeling uh, or machining, that will not work. You have to convert it to a solid, which um, you can convert this to solid. It'll move a little bit since there's a different bounding box of this versus the solid geometry, and you have to just position it where you need it. Um, and you can use things like Boolean to remove it from other geometry. Um, so that's an option to use. But the text, uh, 3D text, is one way to do this as well. And uh, another thing that you can do instead of uh, extruding that, let's uh, undo a couple here. Let's see if I can get back to my sketch. Instead of using uh, the extrude, you can also just, just rotate this around. Let me say we want it to be uh, perpendicular to this face. We'll move it down into our part somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. And another way you can get this out off, you, for example, if you want it on a cylindrical surface or a, a solid surface, you can use some of our feature commands. Inside of here, we have a wrap and boss uh, command that will work on text elements like this or sketch elements, any kind of sketch that's got closed boundaries inside of there. Basically, you uh, select the face that you want it to project onto or wrap onto, and then the, you can use a feature or a curve. Uh, in our case, I'm just going to use a feature to get the whole thing here. As you can see it highlight green. Go ahead and click that, and you'll see that it's actually wrapping onto that face, that text. And you can do a couple things. You can have it cut into the part, uh, come out of the part, uh, specify, uh, specifying the actual height of that. So let's just say we want it uh, 0.25 inches inside of there. It's kind of large, but we can get an idea. And we hit OK. And you can see that it actually just created a solid text off of that cylindrical face for us. That's actually a wrap on there instead of just a projection. It is actually a wrap onto that face. So it gives you true uh, uh, looks of the letters, like the D is a true look, versus a projection, which would actually stretch that out a little bit. So that's one way you can do that with uh, the wrap and boss command inside of there. You can also use the split face command if you wanted to project this and use a projection. You could project that onto the face, then split the face uh, using our split faces tool to do that. That is another option inside of there. Uh, another uh, tool that you can use if you have IronCAD Mechanical, I believe it is in, I'm not sure which library it's in. Let me open up a different catalog here. They do have some other libraries. Let's see, catalogs. I believe it is under maybe the tools or utilities. Let's see. The tools, they do have a text here as well that you can use if you drag and drop that out. Uh, it actually has a uh, another 3D text tool, sort of like our other one that we used inside of here. So if you use IronCAD, as, oops, I type in here. Again, use IronCAD, and you can use your font sizes. You can create separate individual shapes. So it's one shape per letter. You can uh, use a smooth profile using B-spline or optimizing 
the facet level, you can specify sizes. It just basically gives you a little bit more control of where things are getting created inside of here. So if we go ahead and hit OK to create that, it'll create IronCAD at the size that we typed. Inside of there, notice it's a lot smoother inside of there. But again, this is a solid uh, element as well inside of here. So if you wanted to position that, say over here on our object, push it down inside of our part, you can do things like Boolean inside of here, or you can actually use it as a feature to remove it. But if we do a Boolean, we can say we want to take that part, subtract these parts here, hit OK. You can do that type of removal as well inside of there. So it gives you a little bit less uh, faceting inside of there using that smoothing option. So that's just another way to create uh, some of these uh, 3D text elements inside of IronCAD. So hopefully that gives you guys all a good idea of how to do that in IronCAD. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Thank you.